Good day dear Tangle friends. Today I want to show you how tessellation 3636 is drawn. And I will show you some CPT techniques with this lovely tessellation. Well, let's start. First we draw rows. Evenly spaced. And the first thing you do is draw a cross or a uh, multi multiple uh, sign. And this is about your width of your cross. So it might be easier for you if you mark out this space a bit on one of, uh, on, on, on the line. The next cross is lengthen this line and draw the other cross. Here you can lengthen this one and then lengthen this one and keep in mind this mark so your cross ends here. So this is in line and it starts here. And lengthen, lengthen it, keeping this sign in, in, in mind. This way you draw, keep this one in mind, you draw the tessellation 3636. Three, six. Now let's speed this up. So, you might as well do, uh, draw this immediately in, um, with your marker, but if you're unsure, draw it in pencil, overdraw the lines and erase uh, the pencil later. So now I'll show you why this is called 3636. Cause, I'll show you, these are three three sides. I draw this one a bit thick so you can see it. And Ina explains this all very well in her write-up. But So three of our six triangles with each three sides and in here you get six sides too. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that makes it three, six, three, six. Now, let's overdraw these lines. And now it's time to show you some CPT techniques like for instance, an easy one. Start. Let's start with an easy one. Fill in. Fill in each triangle with drop shapes like I do here. Then fill in this with small circles. You can do it. Fill it up all over or you can and somewhere like here for instance fold it draw your line like this all the CPT techniques can, can be found uh, on the website of patterncollections.com That is a CPT technique. 
You can, for instance, aura the lines. You can paradox in here. You can draw some stripes. You can I'll pick another in a larger nib. You can uh, draw braces. I think they're called braces. Yes. So, and you see when you you see a flower shape here. So let's make it a flower and add some small petals and you can aura this and fill it in so what we do here is filling in the base pattern tessellation 3636 with all kind kinds of uh, CPT techniques and for instance feathering I can do it way much nicer but it's to, to give you an idea well we can draw some um, some C shapes And um, even split the pentagon into triangles and fill that in. It's to give you the idea. Always ask, always ask yourself, what if I add this shape or what if I add that shape and I said the information some CPT technique on the grid itself well I'll show you and I'll show you another way of drawing this, des uh, this tessellation. So you've got your little piece of paper. You draw lines, even spaced, in pencil this time. You draw cross marks and we skip one and draw the other. We skip one and draw the other. Use a CPT technique on this grid. Well, let's start with uh, a flower shape. Uh, uh, sorry, in a, a brace, a brace line along. Whoops, <laughs> along this pentagon. And here, so 
Now we can draw the little hearts of the flowers. Well, you can turn these into leaves, for instance. Or um, maybe another flower. That's not right. <laughs> I need, need to be three. One, two, three. That's better. One, two, three. You really do have to look carefully because... <laughs> It's a, it's a challenge. Yes, it's a challenge. So, I hope you get a bit the idea of what, what all the, the possibilities of this tessellation 3636. And now I want to show you tessellation 488. And that one starts with diamond shapes, or as I call it in uh, artist uh, therapy, or in a creative uh, therapy, I, we call this a dynamic square. And it's dynamic because it's standing on its, its point. In the end of this video I'll show you two tiles I made with both uh, tessellations. Now we connect the points. To play with CPT. Because now, well, anything is possible using CPT. For instance, uh, <clears throat> our, the outer, out, outer line, the outside line. This one is called Foldis. Fold, uh, fold it. You can draw a spiral. Of course you can embellish, fill in, any way you like. And like the previous tessellation, this one is immediately uh, drawn in, 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 in ink. But what if, what if, the CPT sentence, what if I change the grid lines? So now I do it in pencil. And I do use the squared grid beneath it. Checking if I'm focused. Let's change these uh, dynamic squares or diamond shapes in, for instance, hearts. Right now, I wonder, will it still be a uh, 488 tess tessellation. Well, it got this side here. Or we can change the outer line into braces. The 
see what's coming out of it. It's always a surprise. Well, next I'll show you how I've drawn these two. This little one in um, tessellation 3636. And this one in tessellation 488. Happy day, happy tangling, thank you for watching, please subscribe and till next time, bye bye.